Hi, this is Gizzard Gary. I wanted to make a short video today in response to Never Enough Ammo and his holster collection, and I realized that I probably had quite the holster collection too for a small gun collection as I have, so let's take a look. For the first handgun I ever bought, which was my Taurus uh, TCP, I think we're all guilty. The first gun or two we buy, we have the uh, people in the gun stores will talk us into these cheapy holsters, uh, in this case a Blackhawk that I walked out of the store with and promptly found out it probably wasn't the best holster to use. Ended up buying a DeSantis Nemesis, which it sticks in now, and that's pretty much the go-to for that one. Okay, my second gun I bought, which is a Taurus PT-111. Again, I let him start me off with the cheapy Blackhawk. I then ended up with a... Uh, this is a Celtic holster that's actually for a Glock 19, but I warmed it up and molded it to fit the PT-111, and it actually works fairly well. I also ended up trying a Phobus paddle holster, and finally settled down to a sticky holster, which is pretty much what I carry it in now. My third pistol, and probably the one with the biggest holster saga, is the Taurus 85. Uh... Started it off, actually, well, not a cheapy Blackhawk holster. In this case, it was a pit bull they started me off with. Uh, I tried this little Uncle Mike's holster. Doesn't work very well at all. Tried this uh, Phobus paddle holster, and I had the same problem that Matt did in that uh, I had a hard time getting that thing out of the holster without pulling a whole paddle out of my belt. Uh, I do own a DeSantis Nemesis for that. I kind of go back and forth between that and a sticky holster. Those are my two go-tos for that gun. By the time I bought my Ruger LC9S, I got a little smarter. I didn't let him talk me into any cheapy holsters. I do go back and forth between a sticky holster and a DeSantis Nemesis for that. You're kind of seeing a pattern here. I do also have a Taurus PT-22. Now, I don't carry this very often. I actually got a holster for it more just to protect it in the safe and in a drawer than to actually carry it in. But uh, you'll see this is a Bulldog pocket holster, and this is a cheapie from Walmart, probably a Blackhawk holster. And uh, both of them work equally as well, which is not too well at all, but I don't carry that gun very often, so... Now, the one exception to my rule is my Taurus PT-1911. It's only ever had one holster, and that is the sticky holster that it sits in now. And you might think, well, you can't really pocket carry with that gun, but you can carry it IWB. And I have a few times, although, admittedly, I don't carry this gun very often. And this is my Star BM. Now, uh... Funny thing about that is this holster was not bought for this gun. This was actually bought for my Bursa Thunder, which I got rid of earlier this year, so I kind of had it left over, and I found out that the Star BM fits reasonably well in this holster, so I didn't end up getting another one for now anyway. This one I don't have out a whole lot. This is my Heritage Rough Rider, and kind of like the others, I bought a holster for it just so it wouldn't get scratched up in the safe, but this is a inexpensive gun-made holster, and uh, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it works. I don't think I've ever actually worn it on a belt or anything. It's more for protection than anything else. And my standby, my Glock 42, which I carry every day, has the one holster, which is the sticky holster that I bought uh, the day I bought the gun. And last but not least, I do have my uh, high standard uh, Duramatic, but to be honest, that's the one gun that I have I don't have a holster for. I bought a uh, hard plastic case for that, and I've kept it in there ever since I've got it. So that one is the one exception to the rule. Other than that, Gizzard has his share of holsters. I uh, look forward to seeing yours, and uh, thanks, Matt, for the video. Well, as tradition would have it, when I got to filming this video... George decided he wanted to be a part of the video. So, okay, George, here's your time. Say hi to the audience. George, come on. There he is. Hey, buddy.